All right, hey everyone, this video is talking about textless files. So if you don't know what textless files are, um, don't be surprised. It's something I learned about while working on a Netflix TV show. During our deliveries at the end, once the whole video was done, we made another version, which is called the textless version, which is where we removed completely all text from the video. At least for Netflix and everyone like that, it was because if you're gonna go dub it and give it to another country, they could add their own text in in their language. But for here, it has another meaning as well and another use. So this is a, a video I made for NV Gaming for one of their sponsors, Predator. After I finished the whole video, so this is the finished video here, um, you'll notice that I build up a lot of text on the side. So when I delivered the video, I had delivered one version like this, which was the complete vi version. And then the second version I completed, or I gave to them was a textless version. So it's the same thing, but I have this, all my text, at least this kind of chunk of text here, one track, which is track six. I could just mute that track. So it's blank. So basically it was covering if we needed to change the text later and it wasn't me, but say another editor on their team could just go in, add his own text because it's easy enough to just use this video and add your own text. But it also helped me out because when I sent this to them, I was leaving to go to North Carolina where I worked with um, Mr. Beast on those videos that they released in December and I didn't have access to these files. I should have maybe put some of these files on Google Drive so I could access it there. Or at least access my home computer from their office. But instead what I did is I actually ended up getting notes back saying they did want changes in text because I expected that. And I opened up just the completed textless file that I had and added my own text in. So I just got my own font and added it back in. So that's one thing to nice cover yourself. And it's just more professional to hand them a textless file as well. Now you could go the extra step and say, find all the text. Like say I wasn't 100% on this text. So I just would... Uh, make a second sequence and disable it like that. Uh, then maybe they would change that logo or font in the future, but could still use the same video, just adding their own text in, right? That's just a nice thing that I learned while working in the film industry that I thought helped me out in this as well. So hopefully it has helped you guys out and give you some ideas. Thanks.